The Rust 70 makes a second appearance, and if you guys don't know what that means, then you guys haven't been a viewer of the channel long enough. Uh, thank you guys that do get it and have been subscribed to us for a long period of time, but uh, this gun literally sits next to the dehumidifier in my vault. And you can see, if you look close, that all the finish on this gun has been compromised with rust. If you wanted a case study in why Remington is going downhill, you have it right there. QC on the finish just is not there. And I do keep it as a home defense shotgun, even though the, the finish is compromised. I don't think it's going to keep it from actually working, but it's just a little bit disappointing for me. But in the interest of making it a home defense shotgun and fully compatible, I have fitted it with the XS Big Dot shotgun sights. There are two variants of these. There's uh, the ones that go on tower sights like that, and then there's the ones that go directly mounted on a shotgun bead. As I said, this is a Remington 870, but Spangers brought his gun out here today. It's a Mossberg 930, and it's got the one that mounts right on the end of the shotgun. Uh, it goes right directly on the rounded barrel, and that's basically the difference. Uh, they have a photoluminescent ring around the tritium vial. And what we're going to do here today is I put mine on with rock set. As you can see, a gratuitous amount of rock set. Uh, it's just how I do everything. And then Spangers put his on with regular old epoxy. What we're going to do today is we're going to run these shotguns through their paces and see if we can get those sights to fall off. Alrighty guys, well we're going to start off with the lightest load that I got, and this is an Agula Mini Slug. I had some mini buckshot loads, but I can't find them, not going to lie. <laughs> but it's a little tiny slug. I've got the tube full here, and we're going to combine this with the where does the sight hit test. We're gonna go to the uh, Magnum Auto Poppers <laughs> now. <laughs> Since we knocked over, I didn't. That target is brand new. We did not stake it down. So here we go. It almost picks up that auto popper. <laughs> like it, only, it picks it up off the ground. And, ooh, that's hot. But, uh, yeah, sight looks good. All right, so here's the 930. Um, this thing does not play nice with those mini shells. I can't get it to cycle at all. It just double feeds it constantly. So we have the uh, the Walmart Especial, um, uh, the bulk box crap. I don't know what it is, but it's field load. Oh, it's on there. Yeah. Yep. Is it good? Yeah. Let's yeah, do good. it again. That's just me moving the gun. But. Yeah. Continuing on with the Rust 70, and what I have here is a, what I would consider extra high brass field load. And this is a seven and a half shot, but these things got some extra punch behind them. Uh, they, they're doing like 1400 feet per second. So uh, they get a little extra oomph, if you will. <laughs> oh boy, this has got some punch. I got nothing. You can see that there's no cracking or anything on the rock set. I did put a lot on there. We got the same uh, Aguilar loads with the 930. So, see what we got. Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> My girl. Nope. I was I wrong. Think. You know, man, those those loads have got some oomph. Yeah, there is definitely some power in those things. Holy cow. Fioki nickel-plated nine pellet. Nine pellet? Nine pellet. Especially with that stock adapter on there, that castle nut is catching me right there. Look at it rocking those back threaders on that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right, let's look at that oh, sight. Oh, yes. Sight. I don't want to touch that barrel. That thing is like lava. 
Yeah, it's on there, yeah. I mean. All right, well, hey, cool. I'm not sure if this one is drop safe or not, so we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> and uh, hearing protection on, we're about to get rained on, but I also wanna test the excess size to see if they are gonna be drop proof. So we're gonna start out waist height. Gun did not go off, that's good. You go shoulder height. Gun did not go off. You guys can see my belly button. And I'm gonna see if I can't hit the receiver right on that piece of concrete there. Oh, center punch. I'm gonna call this one accelerated. <laughs> Sight is good. Let's see, does she still fire? Uh, what better way to test some sights than a running gun? So we've ran several tubes of ammo, different ammo persuasions out of these guns, and now we're gonna do a little dynamic shooting, so. Ahem. What? Threat! Da! Ah! I need to take a shotgun course. Hostage target. <laughs> and that's all she wrote. <laughs> Boy, I tell you what, uh, skills Skills could use a little bit of practice. I'm gonna have to go take like fighting shotgun or something like that. But in the plus side, it looks like the marinara sauce that comes out of my skin has treated some of the rust that is all over the Rust 70. Yeah, we're good. These, they're on there solid. They ain't going nowhere. You thought your run was bad? <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you something. Have you ever taken a shotgun course before? Um, no. I have mm. not. Mm. No, yeah, I this is going to be extra special. I shoot animals with them. I don't <laughs> run around tactically with them. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a lot of special in this, that's for sure. All right. Well, I think we're all waiting with bated breath. <laughs> so, well, begin. Good. Hey, at least it's an auto shotgun. That's true. I feel cool. What is this, a walking gun? It is a walking gun because I forget which direction I'm supposed Turn to Turn right. Run, run to the Just barrel. Just ignore this part. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> One next to the van. Turn and shoot. Knocked it down. <laughs> Hostage. Uh, the important thing is that you mowed those weeds. Right? Yeah, took Did the toss right off those weeds. There you go. I didn't hit it? I don't know. You probably hit all of it to be... <laughs> <laughs> In your face, to the right. Ah, ah, ah. Alright. I'm out. Yeah. Wait. Nope. I think you got more. Wait. In. Buckshot. Send her home. Got him. You have one more? Yes. I you do. have one target down there. I do. Okay. At least one pellet on. <laughs> All right. Inspect the sights. Uh, that was stressful. She's on there. Yep. Yep. Epoxy also works. So rock epoxy set works. or epoxy on the excess sights. It, I will say it's starting to smell a little funny. Yeah? Yeah, I think it's kind of the heat. See. Dude, that's shotgun. Like, that's shotgun Those powder. Those are toxic epoxy fumes. Oh, uh, well, well, you did put it on last night. I did. Yeah, it has not been 24 hours. No, it has <laughs> not. But no, it's on there. I mean. Hey, what more can you ask for? That's a simple mod for your home defense shotgun, guys. So, um, if you guys are interested, uh, I can't link anywhere, obviously, but I'm sure there are plenty of dudes 
uh, that can run the keyboard for you. Uh, thanks for joining us here today for the test of the XS shotgun sights. Hopefully we'll see you guys on a future video.